Hi guys, welcome to the fourth day of the 12 Days of Sophie and today it's more of a relaxed, calm video because today I'm going to do the Christmas tag so I'm going to answer some questions that I found on Google related to the Christmas tag so I've got a few questions that I'm going to answer for you guys we're going to have like a chill moment and I've got my hot chocolate here which you probably tell by the thumbnail and just to be clear this isn't like a fake prop or anything there's actually marshmallows in there so it's a proper hot chocolate and I'm excited because there's just a ton of marshmallows in there and I get really over excited this time of year so let's go on that. So the first question is what is the best thing that's happened to you since last Christmas? If you guys are new to my channel you may not know this but if you are a frequent viewer of my videos or you've been subscribed for a while you know that 2017 has been the year from hell for me because this year I lost my dad and I lost my dog so yeah and that's quite a difficult question to answer from my part and others would think it would be difficult but in all honesty I think the best thing that's happened to me is I've realised who's actually been there for me and it's only recently that I've been thinking about myself again as for a long time I've been thinking about others constantly, I'm very family orientated but some people can see that as a bad thing. My constant mindset was, is my dad okay? Are my siblings okay? Are my niece and nephews okay? Constantly, I was never ever thinking about me and when it wasn't my family it was my friends and it was just, it was constant, it was like a battle inside my head. And quite a few people have told me to start thinking about myself and quite honestly that is a very very difficult thing to do because when it, my mindset has been like that for so long it's really really difficult to snap out of it and to be honest I've just got back into YouTube I've got some videos to be filmed with Rebecca. I'm gonna go see Rebecca on the weekend and we haven't seen each other for a while. So I feel that's a pretty good thing for me. And I think the best thing is to realize that certain people aren't there. Some people are only there digging for information. So you have to be careful who you tell things to. And yeah so I've realised who's actually been there for me the entire time and I'm so grateful for that because that means I know who I can be sharing information with who will actually sit there and listen to me and not just tell everybody else and things like that so I feel that's a really good thing that's happened to me since last Christmas okay so my next question is my favourite Christmas traditions as a child versus my favourite Christmas traditions now as it's not Christmas yet um, I don't exactly have a now, but I can go from like last year. So my favourite childhood tradition was in my house we had all the presents put down under the tree on Christmas Eve and it was like a magical thing coming downstairs. We had the mince pies and we had um, whiskey for Santa. I know that a lot of people might think that's weird because last year I was talking to some people at my work and they said that they always left mince pies and a carrot for Rudolph and some milk for Santa and I was thinking hang on what do you mean milk? We never left milk, we always left whiskey. And then people always just assume like well that's strange but all my logic throughout my childhood for every single Christmas was it keeps the cold out which I'd seen on television and it must be like a tradition that's gone through all the family like a family generation thing and I would much prefer to leave out alcohol but to be fair from childhood I don't really remember much from my early childhood but we had a really high mantelpiece which we left the food and stuff on for Santa and I was quite short and I'm only five foot five now, so yeah. So it wasn't like a thing like, oh, I can reach it, I'm gonna get it kind of thing. But with little ones, because with little ones around, you can't really do that. And considering my house now doesn't have a mantelpiece or a proper fireplace because we have an electric fire, it's a bit different. It's a bit different. So yeah, and my other favourite tradition was. In my family we do a thing that when we're decorating the tree the youngest always puts the tree topper on 
So sometimes we have a star, sometimes we have an angel. This year we have an angel. But when I was little, because I was the youngest, my um, dad would lift me up and I'd put the thing on top of the tree because the trees that we had were about six foot tall. And now it's the same kind of tradition because we, we use the youngest. And now my um, new favourite tradition, I suppose, is just the keeping things kind of secretive from the children, the whole being able to do the other side of things because obviously as a child you just walk in and you're amazed by the gifts and this year because I'm the grown up if you will I'm doing it completely differently I've got presents from Santa because the boys have been good and so it's labelled Merry Christmas lots of love from Santa and they've got um, letters from Santa and then they've got their own personal presents from us and the fact that the boys kind of like messing around with things, they're already demolishing the tree so we're not putting the presents out till Christmas Eve which will be a whole magical thing, they've got stockings for the end of the bed with the names on them and yeah so this is basically my favourite tradition okay so the next question is my Christmas Eve routine then versus now so I'm going to do this from before I live with my sister and now that I live with my sister so before it was me and daddy so we'd wake up sort things out kind of thing we wait for the children to come over we have the presents all ready and waiting and now that I'm living with my sister it's slightly different so we have Christmas all sorted that kind of thing and Have Christmas all sorted that kind of thing Christmas Eve um, we'd stay up as long as we could and then we'd go to sleep so it wasn't exactly a magical thing but I feel like now it's going to be a thing we sat there with the children going oh well if you go to sleep then Santa will, become, well, Santa will come tomorrow because Santa doesn't come when you're awake kind of thing and I feel like that's a good thing for me because it gives something to put all my energy into and I absolutely love Christmas. Number four is when I start to get excited about Christmas and when it starts to feel like Christmas for me. I start buying my Christmas presents quite early. I start in July because when I see something that will come up on my Facebook, if there's like a recommendation for me or other recommendation coming up on my Amazon, then if it's something that I think someone I know would absolutely love, then I buy it there and then because I just absolutely love the thought but what I actually do is I look at it and then I go and search around the internet seeing if it's anywhere cheaper and then I buy it there I don't just buy it straight there because if I went to buy something that was £100 it was £50 on another website that's just stupid so yeah and for me it starts to feel like Christmas when you get that smell in the air I know that sounds pretty daft to some people but when it's cold outside it's got that sense of snow and it's strange it's like in England we've always had cold weather it's always cold even the summer it's cold but when it comes to winter it has that sense about it that it's just the smell in the air it's the smell of trees outside it's just it's something good that cheers people up and when it comes to all the different little things it's different to some people but for my sister in particular the coca-cola advert that's how she knows it's christmas for me and i'm pretty sure this is the same for rebecca it's when the glitterberry j2o's appear in shops that is how i know it is christmas but when it starts to feel like christmas it's completely different situation so so that's mainly how you make yourself feel like Christmas so if you have your Christmas songs blasting out if you have your Christmas outfits which is actually Christmassy outfit right now which is actually in my lookbook which you will see in a few days um yeah so that's basically how it feels like Christmas for me number five is my most memorable Christmas present and why so I'm looking back on my childhood right now. I remember I asked my dad for a doll's house and I really, really wanted it because I was obsessed with Barbies and things like that. I absolutely loved them. I love having like 
control over their lives like playing sims kind of thing and i absolutely loved it so we were in this is blast from past we were in woolworths and there was this big doll's house that i was looking at and i was like daddy can i have this so he bought it for me and on christmas morning i went downstairs and it was there just spread out in the living room there was no wrapping or anything it was just right there the, do um, the dolls were sat in position there was food there for them there was um a pillow and a blanket on the bed everything was sorted i went downstairs and i was so so happy i didn't even pay attention to anything the entire day because i had that doll's house i love that doll's house i actually only sold it about i think last year something like that i absolutely loved that doll's house his big purple doll's house had a little shower in it it was perfect i absolutely loved it and the final question is if i could be granted a christmas wish any christmas wish whatsoever what would it be and why obviously you guys it's the obvious going on in my mind but you can't bring people back in my mind right now i think the only thing that would make my christmas happy is if everyone else is happy i know when it comes to christmas it's about love and peace and happiness but not everyone gets that so for me i feel like if my family are happy and my close friends are happy if i can bring joy to people's faces that's all i really need when it comes to my friends it's it's personal and it's it's the most important thing to me that's why when I buy Christmas presents, I go whole hog with Christmas presents. When I buy birthday presents, I go the whole hog because I want to make people happy. And that's an important thing to me. Okay, guys. So that's been the Christmas Tagle and Sit Down Chilled video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already and you'd like to be here, then bring your button down below. Subscribe, become a Thornic member of our family. And if you've missed any of these videos, then I'll link the playlist down below. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.